watching the TV when the second plane hit with our five-year-old daughter watching. We both watched the plane impact. And then it was obviously at that point clear that we were attacked. For my daughter, I actually remember when the plane hit, she went, wow, that's a big flame. And then when I realized it was a second aircraft, again, realizing that this was a deliberate attack, I asked, I said, okay, Mackenzie, leave the room. Um, it, it was it was kind of scary. We didn't know how to react. We, we thought it was kind of like, you know, watching an action movie. It couldn't have happened. You know, another fake thing going on in New York. And uh, it, it was, we, we didn't know how to take it at first. And then as the day went on, we realized it was real. Flew through the night dropped bombs at like 4 a.m. and came back for the 0700 recovery. I remember trapping, uh, taxiing around to the six pack in front of the island, looking up on the, on the bridge of the ship, and the flag that had been there uh, at the World Trade Center, uh, that famous picture with the fireman, I think, was flown out to the Theodore Roosevelt. It was hanging right there uh, off the, uh, the island of the ship. And I remember looking up and started to get choked up, thinking, Wow, I mean, like the first mission is complete, just dropped 4,000 pound weapons, support the guys on the ground. And then look, coming back and that flag staring in the face kind of brought, brought it all home that this is why we're here. It affected me at the age of 13 with um, protecting my country. Um, I've, I've always been very proud to be an American and I was, I was wanting at that point to make the decision to join the military. Pride, uh, not only on the anniversary, but throughout the year, but it's also a sadness. I feel that a lot of people have been affected, even to this day, because of 9-11. Never once did uh, we ever forget, particularly in the squadrons, how important every job is. So without that young airman getting the aircraft ready, or the young gunner's mate down on the magazine building the weapons, without you know, the folks working in FSA and cranking, getting us food. Everyone came together to do that. So without people doing jobs, you know, the little jobs too, we couldn't do what we do. They forget how much we came together and how much that we are still a proud country that we can overcome this as we have in the past.